Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This week's video is how to read classical novels. As someone who genuinely enjoys classics, I get asked about this a lot, either by people who are too intimidated and don't know where to start, or by those who are forced to read them at school and now hate it. So here's a quick guide on how to read classical novels. Tip number one is pace yourself. You don't have to finish Tolstoy's 400,000 word war and peace in one night, and nor does anybody expect you to. Find your own pace, whether that be one page a day or 100 pages an hour. Don't define yourself by how long it took others to read the same book, because everyone reads at different paces, and the last thing you want is to raise through Moby Dick and only vaguely recall it had something to do with the whale. Tip number two is have a goal. Divide the book up into however many sections you want and make a plan to finish at least one section a day. For example, Wuthering Heights has 34 chapters, so you could decide to read a chapter a night and finish it within a month, or you could decide to read 30 pages a night. Since it's 450 approximate pages, you could finish this book in two weeks. Find a number that's possible for you to complete and stick with it. Number three is ignore unsolicited comments. There is no right time to read a classic, so ignore anyone who tells you otherwise. Maybe they read The Great Gatsby in school, but you didn't, and there's no shame in that. If you want to read The Hobbit and you're no longer a teenager, who cares? Go for it. Likewise, if you are a teenager and decide to tackle Ulysses or Atlas Shrugged, and you find that condescending adults don't believe you're able to read it, then screw them too. You decide what you want to read and when you want to read it, not your teachers, your family, or your friends. As long as you enjoy the story, then nothing else matters. Tip number four is don't follow trends. You don't have to read the same classics as everyone else. Pride and Prejudice, Jane Eyre, and To Kill a Mockingbird are great novels, but that doesn't mean that you will like them. Read whatever you like. Maybe you love sci-fi, but you don't enjoy metaphors and symbolism, so Animal Farm in 1984 aren't for you. But likewise, there are plenty of people out there who would gush over trendy classics but can't attack sci-fi, so they'll never enjoy Dune or War of the Worlds like you will. Read what you enjoy and don't let anyone else sway your decision. Tip number five is stop. Yes, you heard that correctly. If you don't enjoy a novel, then stop reading it. Don't be afraid to put the book back down, whether you're on page 10 or page 100, or whether it's the most read classical novel of all times. There's no shame in stopping partway through a book. You're not giving up or failing. It's simply you stopping something that you don't enjoy. You wouldn't continue eating a disgusting meal after the first few bites, would you? No, so why would you continue reading a book you don't like? And finally, here's a list of the best classics for all readers that I feel everyone can enjoy. The first category is for complete beginners, or yeah, I've never even looked at a classic before readers. This includes many well-known favourites such as Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, The Great Gatsby, Pride and Prejudice, Animal Farm, and The Hobbit. The next level is for not quite beginners, but still people who are not used to reading classics or the I remember doing one in school and it was alright type of reader. The list includes a lot of books on your to-be-read pile. For example, Catcher in the Rye, Jane Eyre, Grapes of Wrath, Wuthering Heights, and Frankenstein. Next up is a list for intermediate classical readers, or I've read a few before and I like the challenge type readers. It includes books such as The Outsiders, Lord of the Flies, Moby Dick, 1984, and Lolita. Four is for those who have read a lot of classics but they want to expand their knowledge. Or, I'm a seasoned veteran when it comes to classics readers. Which includes novels such as Atlas Shrugged, Phantom of the Opera, Anna Karenina, Don Quixote, and The Count of Monte Cristo. And finally, the last group is for advanced readers, 
or I hate life and I want a book to represent that type readers. These are books that only the most seasoned veterans of classical readers will enjoy. It includes novels such as The Art of War, Les Miserables, Crime and Punishment, War and Peace, and Ulysses. That is it for this week's video. I hope these tips have helped some of you guys and that you will hopefully start to enjoy classics from now on. Please like, subscribe and comment down below any ideas you have for future videos because I update every two weeks and I will talk to you then. Thank you.